Hello, uh, welcome to this video tutorial on how to make a menu. It's one of the most common things that students ask me how to uh, make. Um, these are a whole new series of video tutorials, so if you enjoy watching them, you know, like uh, the video and hit the notification bell so you get updates for when the next video comes out. Uh, okay, so making a menu system is really straightforward. I usually start off by making a function. Here's one I wrote earlier. Um, so my function, I'm just going to call menu, uh, as three outputs, three print statements. It doesn't return anything. It doesn't take any values in. It's just going to be called, and all it's the job of this function is just to print these three lines. Print one, option one, print two, option two, and print zero, exit the program. Now the reason I like using, whoops, um, the reason I like using uh, menu is because if my menu changes, I only have to change it once. Um, in the program. So that's the benefit of using a function. If I didn't do that, I would have to change it in all instances where that menu is being used. Okay. So, uh, this program is going to use a, uh, while loop. So I'm going to say option equals get an int value from the user, uh, and then, uh, do something like this. Enter your option. Okay. Now I should actually print the menu here. That'd be a good idea. So I'm going to print the menu here. Then I'm going to get the use uh, the option from the user. Now I'm going to say while option is not equal to zero, uh, I can then uh, do something. So if option is equal to one, I will get it to do something. Uh, do option one stuff. But for the purpose of this, I'm just going to write pass. Otherwise, I'll get an error code. Elif option equals two do option two stuff, but I'll pass this as well. Else, there must be an error, uh, print something like uh, invalid option, and I'll just leave it like that for the moment. And then what I need to do is, so I'm not stuck in an infinite while loop, I'm going to print the menu again, uh, and get, ask the user for an option again as well and um, I think what I'll also do is I'll just in here rather than passing I'm just going to print blank lines or say something like option 2 has been called that will make it a little bit easier to see uh, what's going on option 1 has been called um, invalid option and then we ask the user again for a new one so I'm going to just press I'm going to do an empty print statement here as well okay so and then when the the idea is when the while loop is finished we can print something like uh, thanks for using this program goodbye okay so let's run it <clears throat> okay so We've got the menu being printed, one option one, two, and zero. Enter your option. Let's start off by pressing option one. It says option one has been called. Then the menu is called again, which it should do because after the if statement, we've got our print the gap, which it has done, and then print the menu. So it's calling this function and printing this menu. Um, and then it's saying, um, uh, asking the user again for enter your option. Okay, so then now we're gonna press two and we should see option two has been called. Option two has been called. Now let's try pressing three. Now three is not a valid option, so we should get the invalid option uh, output, which we do. And now we're gonna press zero and we, it says, thanks for using this program, goodbye. It's broken the loop because option is, remember this loop was saying while the option is not equal to zero, keep running this code over and over again um, and uh, as soon as we press zero it breaks out the loop and we go to line 24 here so really simple uh, explanation hopefully you understood uh, how to create a simple menu si uh, system the idea now is that if whatever option one is you could add your code to this sort of section here um, whatever it is you want to do or if you wanted to you could do something like def option one uh, and then, you know, do option one stuff. So uh, let, let's actually, let's, let's build in an extra option. Let's call it option three, just to show you. Print, and we'll do three, option three. 
Uh, this one's called option three, and we're gonna all we're gonna do in here is say print option three has been called using a function. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add another elif in here. Elif option three. Uh, option equals three. I'm just going to call option three menu. Okay, uh, and we'll run this, and you should see that our <coughs> option three down here has been added. And now I'm going to just press three, and this time it says option three has been called using a function. If I can then do option one again, option one works fine, option two works fine, and exiting or four now, I'll use uh, invalid option. Okay, and then exit the program with zero. So there you go. How to make a simple menu system using Python. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button um, and uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned in for the next set of tutorial videos that are coming out shortly. Thank you.